the insensitive soul and the insensitive frog's foot and look further. We're looking at a long sagittal section of the forelimb. Distally, or at the bottom, we start out with the coffin bone, or the third phalanx. The coffin joint, here near the hoof head, or the top of the hoof. The short pastern, or the second phalanx. The long pastern, or the first phalanx the fetlock joint, the cannon bone. Here we have the distal carpal joint, the third carpal bone, the intermediate carpal bone, and the radius. And sometimes a small bone, the first carpal bone, will be present right behind the carpal joint but not always. When we look distally again, or at the bottom, the sole, the insensitive sole, the solar corium, which provides nourishment to the soul, the frog, and the corium of the frog, the laminae, the coronary corium, the top of the hoof, which provides nourishment to the hoof wall, digital cushion. We look at some of the tendons that attach. We have the deep digital flexor tendon, which attaches to the semilunar crest. Distally and proximally attaches to the deep digital flexor muscle, which flexes the coffin joint and lower limb. The superficial flexor tendon, which bifurcates allows the deep digital flexor tendon to go through it and attaches distally to the bottom of the long pastern, top of the short pastern, and flexes the pastern joint. We have the suspensory ligament which attaches to the palmar aspect of the cannon bone on the proximal edge or the top edge and bifurcates around the fetlock joint and attaches distally on the front of the long pastern and the short pastern. We have the check ligament which checks the deep digital flexor tendon that attaches also to the back of the cannon bone just distal of the carpal joint. And in the dorsal aspect, we have the main extensor tendon, which attaches distally or at the bottom to the extensor process of the coffin bone or third phalanx, which extends the lower limb and then attaches proximally or at the top to the main extensor muscle. Attaching distally to the sismoiding bones is a superficial sysmoidian ligament which attaches distally to the top of the short pastern, the bottom of the long pastern. We have the middle sysmoidian ligament which attaches to the back or palmar aspect of the long pastern. And we have the deep sysmoidian ligament that travels between the two sesmoids.